Hi everyone and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of November 11, 2019. Uh, the background influences for this week are similar to uh, the previous weeks which we have uh, ongoing conjunction between Jupiter, excuse me, between Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn and that typically coincides with major geopolitical shifts and removal or changes in the removal of leaders that have been in power for a long time, changes in the status of the leaders, they may be passing away, being basically pushed out, resigning, and we did have um, recently an announcement that Bolivian President uh, Morales is, um, I guess, going away, re resigning, <laughs> and um, other things that coincide with this transit is typically large earthquakes or large um, scale incidents that involve locations that are either underground or in the mountains or involve rocks. Also large uh, scale construction projects may begin or uh, become basically completed at this time. And this influence is in place for this week and it will be in place through 2020. And there are quite a few important dates to look forward to in the beginning of next year, which I will have a separate um, video about that. Another influence that is specific for this week is uh, there may be increased news about water, navy, beverages, movies, religion, uh, as well as pharmaceuticals, poisons, uh, chemicals, and uh, things of that nature. So all of these Neptunian subjects. So there may be perhaps news about excessive, uh, uh, say, flooding or excessive rains or uh, some issues with like ships and some, you know, delivery of various products and uh, or there may be just increased news about say sales of oils or shipment of oil or shipments of chemicals and uh, previous week I had specifically predicted so under similar influence um, that there would be discoveries or research findings that will pertain to things that either have you know come from underground or even from under the water and we had some discoveries made um i believe there was a discovery of some old i guess shipwreck not shipwreck but i guess uh, a large number of like old bottles of some sort of uh, alcoholic beverage were discovered uh under the sea and i think they were for, for some tar or something like that and this time again we will have the influence that focuses on water and there may be discoveries underwater but it would be more likely to do with something that's been basically moving and it is also this week is also good for um, any businesses that have to do with again shipping products or commodities over water so in that case those shipments should proceed smoothly without delay and um, without some sort of legal problems so for specific days of the week for Monday uh, the 11th I think the market would go up and it will likely be a busy news day with a lot of announcements about various negotiations, deals, uh, reports, discussions, etc. And some issues at this point, uh, they may be because of the uh, retrograde Mercury being in place for this week and throughout, I guess, some time, most of the, I think, next week. Um, uh, under this influence, uh, it's favorable for all these deals, negotiations to go through the phase where things are being reevaluated and facts are being rechecked. Sort of the communication may be slightly off where, you know, one party is asking a question, the other party is not giving an answer or the answer is not clear or not all facts are provided. So we will kind of, uh, we should expect this week um, that this will go on. And also we have uh, Mercury trining Neptune, which like I said, is good for things like shipping or sales of oil and chemicals, pharmaceuticals and all those Neptunian urban movies. Um, how, um, you know, those uh, sort of uh, products that fall under Neptune. At the same time, it also is favorable for confusion because Neptune is also confusion and things are not clear. So communication uh, with under, uh, under uh, what is the retrograde Mercury can uh, Trine, I'm sorry, Neptune is also favorable for uh, situations uh, where the parties can't really quite get on the same page and they may be confused and therefore, like I said, do not provide sufficient information to one another simply because information itself may be unclear or the source of it is unclear. Uh, let's see, uh, at the same time, 
some other issues may be uh, coming up on Monday and those may have to do with um, like shady deals, spying, hacking, uh, somebody not being basically honest and engaging in some kind of unsavory activities or the events may be occurring underground in some secretive locations like mines, some tunnels, some hidden places and or situations themselves may involve police, detectives uh, and or uh, other areas that may be affected by these deals, sales, negotiations, uh, financial areas, specifically rates, loans, like banks, investments. So what the, might be happening is that maybe there's news or about a report or an ongoing investigation into some leaders, you know, uh, maybe taxes or investments, whether or not uh, they were done legally, whether or not there was some you know, tax evasion or somebody died and it's unclear what the sources are. So things need to be kind of dug deeper into before this report can be completed or the deal, you know, with the bank or something cannot get quite through until additional investigation is um, is conducted because again, some details are vague and clear and more research needs to be done or previously, uh, previous reports need to be reevaluated because again, they didn't contain sufficient information. And so if there is such investigation that begins at this time or a similar investigation to what is going to be happening perhaps uh, on Monday the 11th, um, these events may either conclude or similar, inv uh, similar investigation, similar report, similar issues may come up again around November 29-30. Also on Monday, Tuesday, November 11 and 12, we can expect uh, you know, optimism among the investors and it would be probably uh, coinciding with higher market activity and investors may be feeling cheerful, kind of more likely to part with the money just because they may be feeling kind of more optimistic about basically investing. And um, the optimism may also be based on some deals and negotiations, especially international diplomatic relations even proceeding smoothly. So kind of, I guess, the feeling of more either stability or optimism though those international negotiations will yield positive outcome and there may also be news uh positive news related to immigration long distance transportation communication as i said especially over like water over bodies of water or of neptunian commodities like various chemicals you know oil specifically uh let's see then for China, uh, 11 and 12 may see some increased news based on uh, around the finance, earnings and or international laws and relations. And those news will likely be positive for China uh, and or help clarify that country's position when it comes to expanding overseas, uh, their intentions regarding import export plans, basically shipments, travel or profits. Um, from international markets. So these, I guess, ongoing negotiations may be either benefiting China somehow or uh, they help to clarify China's position or basically what do they want uh, the outcome to be, you know, that would benefit China. So for November 12th, I think uh, the market will also be going up. Again, I think the investors will likely be in positive, cheerful mood. Uh, and um, specifically on Tuesday, there might be larger than usual market move regardless of the direction. For Wednesday the 13th, I think the market will go down and at that time there may be increased news about uh, oil, beverages, chemicals, wet weather, navy, movies, drugs, pharmaceuticals, as well as maybe some deceptive activities or some confusion. And that um, may potentially, like I said, it may be positive for say transporting oil, but for negotiations there may be some confusion. Uh, at the same time for uh, projects that are meant to either be sort of standing the test of time that involve large-scale construction and or involve governments, really large corporations like these l large stable players, those projects actually will be benefiting at this time. So something like, you know, pipe, oil pipe that goes underground or has to be laid through a tunnel, for example, especially if it's under, you know, a body of water, which we have these, I guess, some projects, the tunnel goes under a lake or something like that. So those projects may either begin at this time, be approved or receive some positive news, or certainly this is a positive uh, beneficial time for such projects to unfold or start or conclude. And there also may be additional news about like uh, 
chemicals, pharmaceutical boats again. So this could be projects related to these Neptunian areas. They might either receive support from the government or some obstacles uh, in the form of various controls and limitations may be removed or something may be finalized where again these projects can kind of proceed in the manner where they'll be successful and uh, and or like I said the construction may uh, begin such as uh, maybe uh, an oil pipeline like I said under a tunnel or perhaps a project that involves deriving oils or chemicals from say coal uh, so those are the kind of news we may expect on Wednesday and then Wednesday, Thursday, uh, there may be continuing focus on wet weather uh, and potentially it may affect communication and transportation, especially on the 14th. And on the 14th, that's the day that's kind of has the strongest influence of the entire week where there may be some confusion about financial deals or concerns about some uh, financial entities obligations, financial obligations or financial solvency or fiscal solvency. And on Wednesday, therefore, I think, as well as Thursday, I think those concerns about, like I said, some finances or some things being unclear may bring the market down. So on the one hand, like I said, it's good for, say, shipments of oil or chemicals, good for beginning projects that involve either laying, say, pipelines, especially under the water, through the rocks, etc. But it's not a good time for finalizing some deals because some issues may be unclear, additional research may be needed, and or additional information may be needed about some financial institutions because, again, their financial dealings may not be quite clear and there may be confusion about it or concerns about sort of cash and, again, or their solvency or that they're hiding something. And so Wednesday, Thursday, 13th, 14th of November, I think the market will be down. Then uh, Thursday, in particular, uh, may be a stressful day where... Um, in addition to these kind of concerns about the fiscal uh, solvency of, say, a bank or something like that, there may be also concerns about, uh, or not concerns, but more news about the value um, or earnings uh, from commodities that relate to Neptunian domains. Again, something like oil, for example, or any chemicals or anything that's like, you know, uh, derived from, say, you know, various petroleum, I guess, products, um, byproducts, etc. So the value of those may be either questioned or there may be confusion about what the value should be or is it something over-evaluated uh, and um, their value may go down uh, possibly again because on the 13th we may hear uh, news that you know there is plenty full of availability, there is oil, maybe it can be shipped, there is no delay, no problem and so maybe this kind of overabundance uh, or discussions of some deals that involve oil may bring the value of related products down on Thursday. So then for Friday the 15th, I think the market may go up. At the very minimum, I expect that Friday we'll see a reversal in the direction of the market compared to Thursday. And uh, that's pretty much it for this week. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, segment. And I'll see you in just a few minutes and we'll talk about the following next two weeks. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye.